Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an exciting topic that many developers are curious about. Our viewer asks, with the newly released Firebase phone number auth, is it possible to use it with the Firebase JS SDK in React Native? And if so, how can we make it happen? Let's dive in and explore this together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To use Firebase phone number authentication in a React Native app, we first need to set up Firebase in our project. Start by creating a Firebase project in the Firebase console. Next, we need to install the Firebase SDK. Open your terminal and run the following command to install Firebase for your React Native project. After installing the SDK, configure Firebase in your app. Import Firebase and initialize it in your main application file. Now, let's implement the phone number authentication. Create a function to send a verification code to the user's phone number. Finally, handle the verification code input and sign in the user. Make sure to manage the state for the verification code and handle errors appropriately. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To implement Firebase phone number authentication in React Native, you can refer to a helpful example. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To enhance user experience with Firebase phone number authentication in React Native, check out the GitHub repository linked in the description. The goal is to avoid user challenges like CAPTCHA. First, modify the CAPTCHA.html file to make the CAPTCHA invisible, allowing token generation in the background. Here's a code snippet to adjust the size. Next, deploy the CAPTCHA.html to a server and access it via URL in React Native WebView. Also, style the web view to remove unwanted text and make it transparent using a simple style property. Finally, ensure to copy your Firebase configuration into your project in the captcha.html file. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped you find that solution that you're looking for. If it did, please, hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.